Alright, so the whole theme for this deck is to bring out number 35, Ravenous Tarantula. Yeah, I think it's just straight up Tarantula. It's not spelled weirdly or anything. Um, this card right here, it just requires two level 10 monsters. And its effect is he gains attack and defense equal to the difference between the life points you know, both your guys' life points. So if you have higher life points than your opponent, he gains attack equal to that. If your opponent has higher life points, uh, he gains attack. The interesting thing about him is that he gains the attack no matter whose life points are higher, just as long as there's a difference between them. So if you increase your opponent's life points like Soul Taker or Upstart Goblin, uh, that does benefit him to a point, and then once he starts attacking, then it's going to go down, it's going to go back up again once you have the difference back. So you do want to keep your life points kind of high as well, but I I kind of threw in a whole bunch of cards that allow me to manipulate my opponent's life points in their favor with like decreasing mine with the Solemns and Wall of Really Light and increasing their life points with stuff like Soul Taker and Upstart Goblins. Uh, but I, it, it was mainly just a rank 10 spam deck. Uh, with trains, trains is the best way to spam rank 10s. I also threw in some Cyber and Dragons, uh, Metal Reflex Slime, and I think those are the two I use the most. I didn't really ever draw into Forbidden Lord or Trigodias. Uh, it was mainly just the trains though. The trains are really good again about it. I was able to get out the Tarantula quite a few times, and his effect, the cool thing about his effect is that the attack and defense increase applies to all your face-up monsters. So. If you have a whole bunch of other cards out on your side of the field, that just makes his effect even better. So if you have like 3,000 more life points than your opponent, uh, all your monsters will gain 3,000 attack. He has like the, I don't know, he probably has like the biggest potential for giving your monsters an attack increase. Plus, uh, he can destroy an X, I mean he can detach XYZ material to destroy all your opponent's monsters with an attack less than or equal to this card. So there is incentive to have a a huge life point difference as soon as he comes out that way you can just pop out your opponent's entire field and then just he just keeps gaining life points I mean attack points as your opponent loses life points as you attack him so you can get up to some really high numbers him and the rest of your cards it's actually a pretty cool card <laughs> Thank you. 